This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our Butterscotch.com special series on upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7. We've completed our install of Windows 7. We're sitting here on the desktop, and all we have left to do in this final segment of this series is to transfer the things that we transferred from Windows XP with Easy Transfer and put them on our new install of Windows 7. So, here in Windows 7, we're going to click on Start, All Programs, we're going to go to Accessories, down to System Tools, and here's Easy Transfer. Comes right with Windows 7. You don't have to go out and look for it or search for it or download it. It's right here showing us what it does and what you can transfer. We'll click Next. It wants to know how we want to transfer the items to our new computer cable, network, or external hard disk or flash drive. We backed up to a USB flash drive, so we'll select that. Now, which computer are you using now? This is our new computer by nature of the fact that it has our new install of Windows 7. So we'll click that. Has Windows Transfer already saved our files from the old computer? Yes, indeed it has. Which we did in an earlier step. The removable drive. We'll click open. Here's the image file. The file has an extension of MIG, which stands for migrate. It's an easy transfer file, so we'll say open. Now it's choosing what to transfer to this computer. It has the size, so we just say transfer, and it's transferring the data from our XP machine onto our new install of Windows 7. So this will take a little bit of time to get these settings and files transferred over. But here we go, coming along. Just about done. In a couple of instances, we noticed we had a little bit of trouble In a couple of instances, we had a little bit of trouble with the file, which is all the more reason to make sure that your backup is solid. We can see what transferred and get a report, get details, settings, and so on. So this concludes our tutorial series on upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7. It's asking us to restart now so that those settings and files can go into place and take effect. This is Mike Callahan, Dr. File Finder, and that's all there is to it.